with us. Tortai? I don't know. We'll have to find out. Our uh, Ask a Vet, Dr. Jill, joining us live in Orangevale this morning after an amazing vacation. Good morning, Dr. Jill. Hey, good morning, Bethany. Paul, how are you? Very well. Is plural for tortoise, tortoises? Tortai. <laughs> Tortai. <laughs> well, it is Tortai. Okay. And did you see some of these whoppers on the Galapagos Islands? You know what? It was amazing, Paul. These tortoises are ginormous. Some of them can reach up to a quarter of a ton, and their oh. shells could be up to a meter in length. They're massive, and they have each island has their own species of tortoise. This is Fred. I want to make sure people understand. This is not a Galapagos tortoise, <laughs> although he's one of the largest tortoises around. This is my baby, and he's a sulcata. He's an African sulcata tortoise. This guy will reach about 150 pounds when he's fully grown. Wow. How old is he? He's about 10 and a half, maybe 11 years old. And he's already weighing what? He's already weighing about 100 pounds. Well, wow. and you know, I just did some quick math. You said the Galapagos tortoises can be a quarter ton. Uh, you know that's 500 pounds. They can be 500 pounds? They can be 500 Gosh. pounds. You know, some of them are as big as a VW bus. I was able to visit with two different sanctuaries on two different islands. These tortoises are absolutely amazing. Do you know they're probably the longest lived reptile ever? And nobody really knows for sure because nobody's lived long enough to document, but now, of course, we're doing that. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, I right, make right, sure people. Right, birth dates on the size of the baby shells now for some other generation to know how long they, they've lived. Um, but let's be as practical as possible. You're not the only the tortoise or turtle lover in the area. Somebody's got one. How, how do we care for a, a big old animal or a little tiny one like that? Well, you know, I, and I want to show you some small ones, too, real quick. They, they do require care, and I want to make sure people understand, too, the sulcata tortoises are not for everyone. They're extremely destructive. They bulldoze over plants in your yard and fences, so you need to have the proper enclosure. These guys are California desert tortoises or Mojave desert tortoises, a little smaller relative of the sulcata and the Galapagos tortoise. These guys actually are a little bit easier to take care of, but fresh fruit, vegetables, grasses, haze. You need to make sure they're on the proper diet and they get sunshine. They cannot live in people's houses and tanks. They must be outside part of the year. They actually hibernate the other part of the year, but the sulcatas, however, do not hibernate. So you really need to understand what part of the world they come from and what the requirements are. It, does that mean like the sulcata, is it, uh, the, the big one that you have, does it, is this natural habitat get really cold in the winter? Do you have to bring that thing inside sometimes? Well, I bring these little guys in during okay. all the way through October through March. They hibernate. However, Fred stays out year round. I do have a place, <laughs> a space for him with a heating pad if he chooses to be on it. But he's oh. a year round outside tortoise. He does come in at night. He has a little house that he goes into. But again, make sure you check with your turtle and tortoise societies. You read books. You go online because each tortoise has a different requirement based on where they're from in the world. Okay. So if we come visit you over there in Orangeville, can we get to see pictures from your trip to the Galapagos Islands? Can we see the turtles or the big tortoises you got to experience? You bet. You know, I, I have some other uh, pictures coming, Bethany. I got to do acupuncture on a marine iguana. What? I had a wonderful trip. So we're going to be doing some cool segments in the future on some of the other animals I saw there. So stay tuned for those. Well, we're going to watch that guy snack down on an apple and say thank you, Dr. Jill. Oh, he's getting away from him. He's uh, going to do his best. We'll <laughs> Oh, help let, him let us know how that turns out, Jill. We gotta go. If you want to schedule an appointment with Dr. Jill, check out her website at uh, drjillwithay.com or give her a call. The number's on your screen there, 916-989-0738. Poor Fred.